Alright, <clears throat> in this video, uh, I'm going to show you my top five favorite applications or games or whatever you want to do. But uh, these are useful and fun and they're probably the best on Cydia. So uh, we're going to start off with a thing called OSU. I found this app because I live in Ohio and uh, our team's Ohio State University and I searched that in. I found this game and it's really sweet. Uh, these apps are in no order so... This isn't the best, this isn't the worst, so. Um, you can, from this app, you can search for songs. You can search by newest, too. And I'll show you the songs that are new. But the biggest part is, it's a rhythm game. And it's kind of like Guitar Hero, but more advanced. So this is 3031, and I'll show you just how it goes. I'm not very good, so bear with me. Alright, that's just a brief thing in the game, really fun game, probably one of my favorites. Well, and it's one of my favorites, that's because it's on this video. Next, we're going to go ahead and show you Nintendo 64 iPhone. I will uh, give you a video in the description, I know everybody does this, but uh, to, or that way, over there in the description, I'll have a link to one of my videos to show you how to get this app. Basically what it is is, I know you guys remember Nintendo 64 and all the great games for it. This lets you play play all of them you want. You have to download them, it's very easy. It runs a little slow, but it's really fun to play games like Mario Kart where you don't, or it doesn't take a lot of graphics or anything. So, let's just go ahead and show you really fast what you can do with it. It has the whole game on it. It runs a little slow, but it's still fun. I'll just show you like the first 15 seconds of a race. It brings back the inner child in you. Of what games used to be like. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And there we go. Alright. This is the intro to it. Of course, you guys remember. The controls are... They're, 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 it's kind of weird they're not made for Nintendo 64 so you can't play like hardcore games like Ocarina of Time or anything I'll just show you one of these boxes dang it they didn't give me the other bits. whatever that's basically it it's pretty cool and again, to get that, it's in the description. The next thing, and it's very fun, it's very useful, and it actually mods your whole entire iPod, is Font Swap. What it is, it, it changed the fonts of stuff like, I'll just, uh, I haven't done anything with this yet, I've had it, but. I'll show you the lock. You can change fonts on everything, basically. Uh, so, I'll change... My lock clock, which is on the lock screen, the clock, what it looks like, and then this will, these system fonts will change everything on your iPod, so any text will become this, and Papyrus is really good, so I'll change it to that. Then you got a respring, so we'll let that do, do what it needs to do, and see the lock clock's different, it's like pixelized, and then, I don't know if you can see that, but the font's different. I'll show you just all of the fonts different. Oh, I don't know. Nah, not on. It won't be on this one, but like the App Store. See the text is like kind of cursive, regular, kind of cool. All right, so that's what three or four or three or. Four Four or five. Alright, but now I'm going to show you install this. 
you guys probably know what this is, but I just, you know, that's so good and so useful that it, you kind of need it. But basically what installs is, if you don't know, is it lets you download any game, any app in the app store. It doesn't matter if it's a million dollars or 99 cents. It's all free. I'm not going to download one because it'll take too long, but <clears throat> yeah, you can find any app you want, download it. The Art of War, whatever that is. But I don't know. Pfft. Rock Band. You can download all that. It's really useful. So, uh, that's four. So, I'll show you one more thing. D-Tunes. D-Tunes is basically iTunes, but everything's free. You can download songs. I'll download one off of Let's find a random one. Uh, will do. Oh, uh, gee, what do you guys want to listen to? We'll listen to Owl City Fireflies. That's a good song. So what you want to, so what you're gonna do is type in a little code, capture whatever thing's called. I don't know. F K. That's ah, it. You know what? You just you download it yourself. You guys can figure it out. You guys are smart people. But uh, that's basically it. That's the top five. Well, I guess I can do one honorable mention. This honorable mention, I know you guys all have it, but it's worth. This would be my number one, basically, if it wasn't top five. But you guys all have this. It's Winterboard. Anybody who, like, you know, this is the first time looking at anything and you just jailbroke. Winterboard allows you to change your theme. See how my theme is. Like, it's not the standard black, boring thing. And, uh... Winterboard allows you to change the background, the apps, and this is the app I'm using right now, it's Glasscart, which comes with like 6,000 icons, it's the best theme, I think, and that's it, okay, peace, see you later, subscribe up there, I know it's cliche and gay, but subscribe there, alright, peace out.